Hello people this is Mohit once again with uh, with yet another tutorial and this time I'm uh, going to cover dream viewer behaviors I've already done part um, part 1 and part 2 and uh, today I'll be doing part 3 and this one is a little bit uh, intricate a little complex so um, you'll just have to be a little uh, attentive now first of all what exactly are dream viewer behaviors I'll reiterate that uh, this is best explained on the website www.entheosweb.com. Uh, one of my fellow Indians here, I think she's written this article, and uh, her name is Rachna, and she says that use the Dream Viewer Behaviors panel to create jump menus, swap images, pop up uh, windows, play sounds, validate forms, and more. A Dream Viewer uh, behavior makes it easy to add interactivity to your site. Try out all uh, the cool stuff possible using Dream Viewer behaviors. What are behaviors? Behaviors allow visitors to interact with the web page to change the page in different uh, ways. While using behaviors, you need to specify the action, also the event that triggers uh, that action. So, in a nutshell, um, a Dream Viewer behavior. Uh, forces uh, a visitor to interact with the web page so maybe on a mouse click or a mouse over or uh, some other trigger the the image might change here uh, you know there, there may be a swap image there may be a pop-up window suddenly coming up or you might click on a link and uh, suddenly the sound starts to play on so uh, these are dream uh, weaver behaviors uh, you know there are certain things which are best uh, seen rather rather than explained so what I'll do is I'll close uh, this window up and I'll uh, straight away jump into dream weaver and uh, start creating uh, some behaviors so I'll say create a new HTML file here for this example I'll need uh, three images uh, I already have them ready with me I'll image one okay I'll skip the alternate text insert image two Insert image three. Skip the alternates, uh, alternate text once again. I'll select image one, uh, give it an ID of ONE1 and a two here and a three. So uh, the IDs one, two, and three identify uh, these numbers. Okay, now let me select image number one and let me go to the behaviors panel out here. Now, how do you get to the uh, behaviors panel? You can do a windows and then uh, behaviors or you could uh, just press shift plus F4 to access uh, the uh, behaviors panel here. Now, since image one is selected, I'll click on this plus sign. This plus sign is to add a behavior to image number one. I'll go down and select swap image okay uh, it shows me all the three images one two and three now these are the IDs that I gave just now so uh, it's asking me what should I do now uh, just just pay a little attention here I'm going to swap uh, one image with the other one but what I want to do here is I want to swap the image number two with image number one so I'll select image number two I'll highlight that and uh, I want image number two to be swapped by image number one when image number one is clicked. All right. So instead of saying on mouse out, now this is a trigger on mouse out when the you know the pointer of the mouse moves away from image one. I don't want that. I want when image number one is clicked, the image number two be swapped by image number one. So I'll just change that. I'll click on the drop down menu here and I'll say on click and on click here as well. Alright. Cool. Uh, I'll preview in Firefox and uh, save the file first. Okay, see that? When I click on image number one, image number two gets swapped by image number one. I know it's a little bit complex, but as you practice, uh, you'd really get uh, very comfortable with it. 
I'll go back to Dreamweaver and I'll do the same uh, routine with image number three. I'll select image number three. I'll say out of behavior. I'll go to swap images and I'll select image number two because when I click on image number three, I want image number two to get swapped with image number three. And I'll say browse and I'll say an image number three here. I'll say OK. And I'll say OK here. And instead of uh, the mouse sound, I'll say on click, on click. And I'll preview in Firefox. Save the changes. See that? Hmm, perfect. Now, people, I want to move one step ahead. Uh, this might get a little complex for some people. It is a little bit complex. I got a little confused uh, when I started doing it. But um, I think you'll uh, sooner or later get the hang of it. Now I'll go back to image number one. I want to add one more behavior. And that behavior is when image number one is clicked, I want image number two to be replaced by image number one, but it should appear uh, from a 20% a transparency to 100% uh, uh, or 0% uh, you know uh, transparency so basically it should appear or rather from a 0% to 100% it should appear it should lose the transparency I'm sorry I got all confused here so I'll select image number one I'll say um, I'll click on the add behaviors uh, symbol I'll go into give uh, go on to effects and I'll say appear fade and um, I'll select image number two because I want the effects to take place where image number two is placed on the screen I'll increase the uh, effects duration to 1500 milliseconds I want the effect to be an appear not a fade from a 20% to 100% I will leave the toggle effect as it is I'll say OK and uh, I'll show the preview in a while. I'll select image number three and I'll carry out the same routine with image number three. I'll say an effects, I'll say appear fade. I'll select the selection as image number two because I want the effects to target image number two. And increase the effects duration to 1500 milliseconds, that's one and a half seconds. And I'll say an appear from a 20% to 100%. Leave it as it is and say okay. Okay, now then I'll click on preview in Firefox and I'll say save the changes. So Dreamweaver creates a file for me automatically, spryfx.js JavaScript. I'll say okay to that. Okay, now uh, see what we have here. I'll click on image number one. It appears where image number two is there, but it, it kind of appears from a 20% to 100%. And the same is true for image number three as well, from a 20% to a 100% in the image number two place holder. So people, I hope you learned something here. Basically, what happened here was when I clicked on image number one, image number two got swapped with image number one. That was the first behavior we wanted. We got it. And the second behavior that we added was that image number two be, uh, you know, should be replaced by image number one and it should uh, gradually you know appear from a 20 percent to a 100 percent so uh thanks for watching me i hope you learned something today i have a good day bye bye